What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. Friends, today we are going to be looking at a group of animals that I don't give enough love to on this channel. But let me tell you, I I do love them. Today, I'm taking a look at my tarantulas. How's that for an impression? Not bad, right? I mean, we're missing three digits, but uh, not too shabby. That's kind of how they tiptoe and the cricket comes along, little Jiminy, and then it. Oh, I sense it, I sense it. Okay, that was pathetic. But in any case, yes, we're gonna be doing a sort of tarantula watering slash feeding, kind of two for one special. The animals that you're gonna be seeing today are for the most part my terrestrial adults. I have plenty of juveniles and arboreal species that I'd really like to show some love to on the channel as well at some point, so let me know if you wanna see those in the comment section down below. I usually just pick my terrestrial adults because they're usually easy to feed and film and some of the arboreals are always hiding, so yeah, I'll make more effort to do it if you want to see it, just let me know. In any case, before we get started in today's video, I want to remind you guys again, hi, my name is Dion, I make videos about specialty pets, such as reptiles, amphibians, or different kinds of invertebrate species, like the ones you see in today's video. If that's something you're interested in learning about, definitely consider subscribing down below and dinging that little notification bell afterwards so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday. I also want to take a quick moment to thank my three new patrons over on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support to Wesley, Amanda, and Shinoa. You guys are fantastic. I'm so grateful for your support and viewership and for your generosity in deciding to support this channel further. If you guys are also interested in supporting Reptiliatus further, you can become a channel patron for as little as $2 a month. And all that support from all of you goes a long way in helping facilitate my ability to do different upgrades, potentially go on trips at some point to show you guys all kinds of really cool things so that we can all learn together. No obligation, I really appreciate your viewership as is, but some of you have been asking ways you can support the channel further and that's definitely one way. Alright guys, let's get into today's video. Alright guys, so here is Ruby, my bracket palma hamori. Let's go ahead and first start by removing her water dish because it is definitely dirty. We'll put in a nice clean new one. And then fill it up and I'm going to intentionally overflow it a little bit so that she gets a bit of added humidity in the enclosure. And then lastly, we'll go ahead and offer her a super worm. See if she might be hungry. Do you want a super worm? Get it. Dig it out, dig it out, dig it out. Come on, Ruby. Get it. Are you going to get it or not? You better get it before it gets away. Yeah, she's going to do it. What is she doing? Now, you may notice that Ruby's... Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> you may notice that Ruby's abdomen looks kind of strange it's almost like she had a weird wet mold the carapace looks a bit like that too and yeah it's been about two years since she last molted and that was how it was so I'm kind of anxiously waiting for her to go off food go into pre-molt and molt I guess because she just looks a bit strange right now but I mean she's happy and healthy and that's all that matters Okay, friends, so the next tarantula we're going to feed is good old beautiful Aragog, who is my female Theraphosa sturmi, Bergen Eagle bird eater. As you can see, Aragog's water dish is a mess. So we're going to take that out, put it with the rest of the dirty dishes, and replace it with a clean dish. Now this one, I'm going to overflow it a decent amount because the species does like a good amount of humidity. So let some of that water go down, add a bit more. There we go. All right, Mademoiselle Aragog, would you like some super worms? I think you would, let's see. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness, look at those fangs. Let's give her another one. Ew. 
Oh, she didn't get it yet. She's just smushing up the first one. She's gonna feel it. There it is. Take it out of the substrate. Dig it out. So cute when they do that. Oh, 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 ah, you got it. Bleep, look at that mush. Oh my goodness. Now you may notice that one of her pedipalps actually molted weird. It's smaller than the other. I'm not sure if it's actually stuck in molt still, so she might just lose it all together next molt, or hopefully that'll come off. Hard to say, but she's obviously fine. Okay, girl, I guess you're ready. Let's move on. All right, guys, next we have Bebe, which is my beautiful Brachypelma Baumgartney that a dear, kind, generous subscriber gave to me. As a gift, she still hasn't molted, friend. She's uh, very voluptuous. We're not going to feed her today for obvious reasons, but hopefully she'll be going into pre-molt soon. If you recall, we made that Halloween video. You can check out the link up above. It's kind of fun to just make her a uh, coffin hide. You know, she's pooped on top of it, as you can see. Now, there are some springtails in that water, and I don't want to lose them, so I'm going to pour the water into the leaves and then replace the water dish. Easy baby, baby. She's actually was named by my subscriber after, if you've seen Shit's Creek. Myra's favorite thing to say. Oh, how is the baby? Well, I won't give anything else away, but it's just the funny way she says baby, like the French word. Okay, let's add some water. And again, I'm going to gently overflow things a little bit. Add some more humidity. The enclosure just a bit perfect all right everybody next up is my little female Lasiodora parahibana let's see if this girl would like something to eat you know a lot of people say that this species grows so fast and i really just beg to differ um i can't even remember the last time this girl molted and she accepts food still so, I don't know, man. Albeit, my my tarantulas aren't kept very hot. I keep them a bit above room temperature, and they do most of their growing through the summer months when it's a bit warmer. But still, the fact that she does that, and she hasn't molted in, like, I, I would say almost a year. Yeah, it's, it's definitely curious that she's still taking food. I don't know. It's interesting, for sure. All right, girl, we're going to take your water dish. I hope you don't mind. She might come in here and think we have food. You're okay. No hair kicking, all right? No hair kicking. We do not want that. We do not like your hair, not the La Ciadora hair. Woo. All right, mademoiselle, here's some water. And as you can see, we overflow it. Gonna add some over here as well. Perfect. All right, friends, lovely label, eh? This is everybody's favorite male Therophosa Sturmy, Chewbacca. Let's go ahead and take out his dirty water dish. Get a new one in there. And you'll see that I'm always using my tongs because you never know when these guys in particular will just dart out. Picking up on the vibration, thinking there's food around. We don't want him darting out and grabbing me. Not his fault if he did, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, buddy, you ready for a super worm? Oh, I know you, you'll definitely want one. Mister, here we go. Oh, there he is. Nom, 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 and look at those fangs. I wonder when he's gonna molt, cause I think he's about penultimate which means that we actually will have an opportunity to breed him with Aragog if all goes well. Want another one? Oh yeah, oh my goodness. Yikes. Okay everybody, next we have Strawberry Shortcake who is my Nandu Tripepi, formerly the Nandu Vulpinus. Let's go ahead and see if this beauty who also kind of scares me because she kicks hairs will allow us to infiltrate her home and remove her water dish and feed her. I am fairly certain that this girl is in pre-mold, but what do I know? 
a lot of animals that I think are in pre-molt are not in pre-molt. So let's try and distract this nervous girl with a super worm so that we can take the water dish. Okay, well that worked. And boop, we take the water dish. It's all about minimizing stress whenever possible. So while she's fiddling around with that, get the new water dish in. Now she may try and go for the water as we pour it in. That happens. It's okay. I mean, shouldn't do too much to stress her. Substrate looks pretty moist, but again, let it overflow a little bit. And uh, yeah, I think she's good like that. As much as non-do species do suck for being nervous and kicking hairs, they are really beautiful spiders. Um, lots to enjoy and appreciate with this genus. Oh god, see, that's what I mean. Do you want a super worm or no? I was just trying to give you one more. If you don't want it, I'll take it away. Okay, so she is not interested. Let's try to carefully. Ugh. Oh my gosh, that could have been bad. Now we still have to get the lid on. For today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you guys who keep tarantulas how often you replace and clean out their water dishes. I've spoken to fellow hobbyists and I'm curious to see what your opinion is. Some folks seem to think that once a week is sufficient. I know people that change their dishes out every day, but there's a lot of different opinions because most of us know that tarantulas are relentless at putting substrate in their dishes, pooping in them, etc. I'm curious to know what your practice is, what you think is best. Let me know in the comments section down below. And as always, I'll give your comment a heart and we'll engage in a little bit of a conversation. All right, everybody, here's Unicorn, the Serato Gyrus, Marshali, straight over Maboon Tarantula. Let's see how she does. If you're not new to the channel, you know how she can be. Without anyone being in their enclosure. Ah, okay, sorry. Here, busy yourself with this. What, no, you're not going to? Grab it. There we go. Now you focus on that, and we are going to focus on your water dish. Please and thank you. Oh, come on, unicorn. Excuse me. Come this way. She's very defensive. You could probably easily just tap her enclosure and lure her all the way over here. All right, all right, go, 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 Yes. Woof. Close call there. Very close call. Okay. Add some water. She's probably going to come over now and inspect what's going on. No? Okay, cool. That's fine, unicorn. And, uh, yeah, let's get the lid back on because she's a feisty little lady. Now this is my Kilo Brachy Species Electric Blue, and she is one of my favorite tarantulas just because, well, you'll see in a sec. Her color is unbelievable, and the way she webs the enclosure is just nuts as well. So that's why this spider is unreal. Thankfully she came out so I could show you. Under the right lighting, they literally have electric blue legs, hence the name. Kilobrachy species electric blue. Inside of the legs are this incredible color and on the chili serrae, as you can see. All right. Oh boy. Dang, that was awesome. Ooh, see what I mean? She's incredible. Well friends, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching today's video. 
it's always a real pleasure to be able to show you guys my tarantulas. They're such misunderstood animals and I really do appreciate the fact that I get to show them in hopefully a positive and you know, uh, non shock factor frightening light uh, for my audience because one of the things I cherish so much is how many of you write me in private or as comments telling me that my content on these animals has helped you overcome your arachnophobia or fears pertaining to these animals. So nothing makes me happier than knowing that I have the ability or opportunity to help you overcome those fears, to help you learn something new about these types of animals and appreciate them a little more. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Helps the video a lot, helps me and my channel a lot, and you know the drill. I can't wait to see you guys on Friday for our next video. So have a wonderful week, be safe, be healthy, and I look forward to seeing you all in another video again soon. And if you want to see more videos about tarantulas, check out this playlist I chose for you up above. Bye guys, take care.